If you or a loved one have been injured in a motor vehicle accident, it is important to know the different levels of funding available to you. Hello, my name is Roger Foisy, and I am a personal injury lawyer, a lawyer for the people of Ontario. The funding that you receive is dependent upon the severity of the injury. Therefore, it is crucial that you recognize what your symptoms may mean so that you can fight to obtain the appropriate funding. With the right funding, your road to recovery will be financially supported. This will decrease the financial strain associated with the recovery. The different levels of funding are dependent upon your injury. Catastrophic injury, known as CAT, non-catastrophic injury, known as non-CAT, and minor injury guideline, known as MIG. The catastrophic injury level provides a lifetime of up to $1 million in medical and rehabilitation benefits coverage and involves permanent injuries such as paraplegia, quadriplegia, loss of vision in both eyes, and certain brain impairments. The non-catastrophic injury level provides for adults 10 years of coverage, up to $50,000 in medical and rehabilitation benefits coverage. It involves those injuries that are deemed non-catastrophic and not within the minor injury guideline for accidents on or after September 1, 2010. And the minor injury guideline level provides only $3,500 in medical and rehabilitation benefits and involves a defined set of minor injuries such as sprains, strains, lacerations, and abrasions. It also limits certain types of medical assessments. Unfortunately, Mild traumatic brain injuries are often missed because people attribute their symptoms to other, more obvious injuries. This is why it is critical to think brain first. If you understand that your symptoms may be the result of a brain injury, the healthcare provider will be able to assess you for a mild traumatic brain injury. It is important to be diagnosed with an MTBI from the beginning because it will assist you with being categorized outside of the minor injury guideline. The process for getting moved from a minor injury guideline classification to a non-catastrophic injury classification can be difficult and the request is often denied. This is why it is essential to recognize your brain injury symptoms and get a proper diagnosis of the symptoms immediately after your accident. If you are wrongly placed in MIG after suffering an MTBI in a motor vehicle accident, a lawyer who is knowledgeable about brain injury can be invaluable for helping you move into non-catastrophic funding. One of my clients arrived at my office after being told she had used up all of her $3,500 of her medical and rehabilitation benefits. Those funds were used up in only three months following her motor vehicle accident where she was diagnosed with a non-neurological whiplash disorder. After all her therapy was completed, and although her neck strain had gotten better, she still wore sunglasses inside my office, as well as most of the hours of the day. Furthermore, she had never regained her sense of taste, smell, and her headaches remained constant. No one ever told her that the acceleration-deceleration effect of her neck and head in the accident might have caused her to suffer a mild traumatic brain injury. Once my office was able to have her injuries recognized outside of the minor injury guideline, she was now able to get the appropriate treatment which focused on recovering from her MTBI. Receiving the right level of funding can help ease the burden of recovery. It is vital to have the support of someone who can recognize an MTBI and fight for you to obtain the level of funding that you need. Now, I should tell you, it is important to recognize that any time following the release of this video, the law regarding accident benefit entitlement following a motor vehicle collision may and is likely to change. The Financial Services Commission of Ontario website is an up-to-date resource about Ontario accident benefit entitlements specific to the date of your accident. In my next video, I will be discussing how to assemble the right team to help you recover from a mild traumatic brain injury. So thank you for tuning in. I invite you to check back with us often for the latest videos, blogs, and resources on my website at 
injurylawyercanada.com.